Dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor and I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today I want to talk about Nigella sativa or black cumin, black cumin seeds, which is a very popular uh, natural remedy nowadays uh, that can have a good anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, immunomodulatory properties and uh, it can kill many bugs. That's why it's very interesting. I'd like to tell you about the a clinical investigation on real patients with thyroid problems. We know that um, autoimmune thyroiditis or Hashimoto thyroiditis is the um, autoimmune disease where immune system is uh, hitting, injuring their own um, patient's thyroid gland. And it's very common, 2% of the population can have this. And because black cumin has anti-inflammatory properties, has uh, immunomodulatory properties, maybe it can decrease the attack of immune system to thyroid gland. So I want to tell you about the investigation on 40 patients uh, who had this problem and uh, the researchers, they used black cumin for them. So let's get started. So we, knew, we know that during this uh, thyroiditis, when thyroid gland is attacked by immune system, there are lymphocytes that will attack it. It's T lymphocytes, they will attack the cells of thyroid gland directly. And there are B lymphocytes that will produce the antibodies against thyroperoxidase, against thyroglobulin that we often um, test in laboratories. Also, um, the thyroid gland will be destructed and it can't produce its hormones like uh, L, uh, like T3, for example. So we always check this hormone too. And because there is not enough hormone produced, the body will think, oh, there is not enough hormone. I, may, I must stimulate thyroid gland. And to stimulate it, it will produce uh, TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. That's why in these patients, TSH will go high, except the initial stages when the thyroid gland is very is injured very actively and all the hormones are spilled in the blood and the hormones may be high, TSH may be low, but it's only in the beginning. So the scientists, they split the group of 43 patients into two. Uh, one group was getting the capsules with placebo and the other was getting the capsules with black cumin. Every capsule had one gram of grinded um, seeds of black cumin and uh, it was, um, the intake was divided into two, uh, before breakfast and before dinner, right before the meal. And after eight weeks of intake, they noticed that first their body weight decreased a little bit less than one kilo, but it was significant. Also, um, their levels of autoantibodies, the antibodies that attacked, attack the cell thyroid gland, decreased. The levels of the self-hormone of T3 increased, so thyroid gland was not suffering so much and was not injured so much. It started to produce more hormone. And the levels of uh, TSH of the body, which is needed to stimulate thyroid gland, the, it went down. So um, the results were quite promising because uh, the lab values came to more normal situation. By the way, all these patients were taking L-thyroxine. This is the levothyroxine, that is a hormone of thyroid gland. And mostly these patients have to take it all their life because they don't have functioning thyroid glands. That's why they need their uh, hormone from outside. But this, in the chronic intake of this hormone may lead to some problems like uh, heart dysfunction of left ventricle uh, hypertrophy or um, enhanced uh, osteoporosis. That's why we always want to find some remedy not to just uh, give the hormone if it's not enough, but to treat the self gland so it can produce its own hormones. By the way, in thyroid gland during this thyroiditis Hashimoto, uh, there is increased blood flow and increased production of blood vessels. This happens due to vascular endothelial growth factor. This growth factor uh, is uh, normally producing very low amounts in, uh, in the body, but during this thyroiditis, it really produced a lot. 
and during thyroid cancer, by the way, too. That's why it's a bad guy in this condition. And they found that the intake of black cumin could significantly decrease this vascular endothelial growth factor. That's one more nice finding. By the way, from 43 patients, only 40 finished the investigation. Three patients from the group of uh, black cumin, they stopped uh, the investigation because they developed itching. That means that not everyone can take it because some people may have some individual intolerance to it. But in general, it was um, tolerated quite well. Dear friends, that's all for today. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope it was very interesting to you and I wish you good health. God bless you. Bye-bye.